Hello, I'm the Bad Mini Painter, and uh, this is uh, me painting uh, the Death Guard Lord of Virtulence. Um, I, I'm slowly building up my Death Guard army, along with mm, too many other armies, and I felt like I needed this guy in here, and he also looked like he could be fun to paint. And then I tried putting him together. It's my least favorite part of the hobby actually gluing this shit together because often I find that stuff doesn't quite fit or I place something a little bit too wrong and then I have this huge gap and I try to fix uh, the gap in his uh, dress cloak skin cloak thing uh, and I failed uh, tried to push it together and hold it with super glue and it, it still came apart so fuck it anywho base color Death Guard Green, it's it's a classic, we we know it well. Elysian Green, uh, heavy uh, dry brushing um, to brighten him up. Then I go in with the uh, Oak Green Camo, uh, a less heavy dry brushing. I change out the brush uh, for something with a bit rougher um, pencil. <coughs> Uh, and I just yeah, slap it around a little bit, trying to catch all the raised areas. <clears throat> and for final layer of dry brushing, it's on the hive ash. Um, very little of it on the on the uh, on the brush and uh, lighter brushing. Uh, a little bit too heavy there, but uh, the, the the point is to to give it a really light brushing. And then we go in with Lead Belcher for all the metal parts. Um, that includes the exposed metal on the wire thingamabobs. And of course uh, his uh, little shield and his vents and his gun. Weapon thing. For all the trim uh, and the details on the metal, I decide to use uh, Balthazar Gold. Um, I have been using a Screaming Bell uh, for my Death Guard, but um, it is uh, a bit too red. Um, so I, I kind of like the aesthetic and now I hate it. So Balthazar Gold is, is what I'm using right now. And for this I basically follow the box art. Wash, we need to wash. Uh, dark brown from whatever. It's very runny uh, and it comes on really dirty, but as it dries, it it's uh, less obvious. So I basically just like you do with washes, you you just slap it on, make sure you don't have any pulling, and everything is good. Pale skin from uh, scale 75 uh, for all the skin parts uh, on him. It uh, is a really good base color for my uh, my little uh, speed paint uh, shading trick. Uh, calling it a trick is a bit uh, assumptuous, but it, it works well for that, you'll see that in a moment. Doom Death Black, um, the two thin coats alternative to uh, Corvus Black. Um, used for all the wires. So that are the wires for his face masks, the one going from uh, his back to his uh, arms, and also the wires running around, uh, running down his, uh, I want to say dress, but I'm pretty sure it's not dress. Uh, cape? Purple Alchemy, uh, mixed uh, generously with the medium to make it uh, less pigmented. And uh, if you do this, you have to be really careful with the pulling because it, it will pull quite a lot. And Dark Reaper for uh, for highlighting uh, the wires or adding some some interest and variations to the to the wires, um, the raised areas. 
Mm. I, I, it, it looks really bright right now, but as it dries, it will um, it will mix in better with the black. Uh, no oil for uh, all the middle. It's a shade. You slap it on. It's all good. A little careful around the flesh, but else slap slap. Tesseract glow. Uh, I found to be fairly effective as uh, this is slime as well. So so that's that's what I'm using for all the gunk dripping off him. He's an unhealthy fella. And this paint was actually uh, originally released for uh, or with the Necrons, but. Uh, it has its uh, usages here as well. Looking at it, I kind of want to paint some Necrons. Would also be easy videos because that build show. Shade. Done. And unfocusedly, you can see me applying some Stormhost Silver uh, as highlighting to his, uh, yeah, to the metal parts. Just kind of um, adding it where I feel the light would reflect and also um, where the metal would wear against stuff. And finally a highlight of Ocarine Camo. A bit too heavy uh, on, on the shoulder plate but uh, I slowly uh, found my stripe and uh, yeah, it's something that you really don't notice until it's it's all over the model and then you can see like uh, before and after picture you can see the difference I, I like doing it also it's good practice uh, brush control and the final product yeah anywho he's pretty much done there's some stuff I overlooked I know uh, could have done something with his eyes yeah, other than just yeah uh, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with him. And I kind of like uh, the way I'm doing the bases, by the way. Maybe I should do a video on that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see how I how I make the base for, for these uh, uh, sick, uh, disgusting, plague-ridden dudes. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found something useful in it. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. I, I, I need subscribers. The numbers are way too low. Um, thank you for your time and uh, hopefully I will see you soon for another upload. Bye.